Climate change is causing extreme weather events, droughts and heat waves. In recent years, this has become a real challenge for grape growers and wine producers. In the future, as our climate continues to change, anticipating these events will be crucial for the adaptation of the wine sector. The MedGold dashboard is an easy to use visualization tool for the wine sector, co-developed with users. It gives access to past climate information and future predictions. You can access the dashboard on the project website. It contains climate information for three different timescales. The tab Historical Climate includes information for the past and near present. The Seasonal Forecast tab shows predictions for the next months and the Long Term Predictions tab shows future scenarios until the end of the 21st century. You can also select the type of information you want to see. Climate variables include temperature and precipitation data. Bioclimatic indicators take into account the climate and the phenology of the vine. And wine risk indicators show if the vine is under risk of disease or heat. To learn more about the MedGold dashboard, let's have a look at three practical use cases. Use case number one. Let's assume that you are a member of the Regulatory Council in charge of the geographical information of wine produced in your region. In the last few years, the temperature in the region seems to be higher than normal, which is affecting the quality of the wine. Is it time to advise wine producers to take measures to protect their crop from the heat? You can use the MedGold dashboard to find out whether the temperature in your region has increased. First, select the panel on Historical Climate. Choose the bioclimatic variable that you want to see, which in this case is SU35, which shows the days when the maximum temperature is higher than 35 degrees Celsius. Find your geographical area and click on the map. You will get a chart that shows the trend in the number of heat stress days. Indeed, days with extreme temperature have increased in the last few years, so you decide that it is time to consider increasing the amount of irrigation water or setting measures to protect the grapes from sunburn. You can export the chart, save it on your computer and share it with wine producers in your region to discuss the issue. Use case number two. In the second case, you are a viticulturist. It's February and you need to decide how much stock of plant protection products to buy this season. Rainy and warm springs can favour pest outbreaks in vines. Is this spring going to be particularly dry or wet? In this case, you need to check the seasonal forecast panel. Start by selecting the spring rain, SPRR, bioclimatic variable. Then select the current year. Choose the current month as a starting date, which is the month when the forecast is issued. Type in the coordinates of your cultivation site. The prediction suggests that this spring will be wetter than normal. Next, you need to check how accurate the prediction is. Turn the skill filter on to hide areas the prediction is not reliable enough for decision making. For your region of interest, the prediction is good. You can also check how well spring rain conditions are predicted in the past. To do this, click on the map and a chart will appear. In the chart, circles show values of spring rain observed in past years and squares show model predictions, either drier than normal, normal or wetter than normal conditions. Four out of eight past predictions of wetter than normal spring matched what actually happened. That's in 50% of the cases. You can check the prediction again in April to confirm that it still suggests wetter than normal conditions. You can also complement the spring rain forecast with a forecast of temperature to get a better idea of the risk of pests and diseases. Based on the seasonal forecast and its prediction accuracy in the past, you can then discuss with the procurement department and plan the purchase of plant protection products. Use case number three. Your wine company is concerned about the impact that climate change will have on your top selling iconic wine. The grape variety used to make this wine has an optimal growth between 16 and 19 degrees Celsius. Therefore, if your vineyard sees higher temperatures in the future, you will need to look for alternative sites to maintain your production. 
Is the quality of your iconic wine threatened by future climate change? First, select the long-term projections panel. Type in the name of the closest village to the vineyard. Select the growing season temperature as the variable you want to look at. Then select the time frame for which you want to see the temperatures in the future. Finally, choose an emissions scenario. In this situation, the average growing season temperature in the area is expected to be above 20 degrees Celsius, which is outside the range of your grape variety. You can export data from the map as a .csv table and use Excel to find other geographical areas with more suitable temperatures to produce your top selling wine in the future. And these are only some of the benefits of the Med Gold dashboard. There's plenty more to explore. Try it for free and see how you can plan ahead, reduce risk and make better informed business decisions.